Okay, we've got a little project to work on. It's a small child's chair, and they want to uh, take it from what used to be a fabric covered chair, particle board. Now we can tell that it had fabric on it from the little staples that I find everywhere to uh, where it was stapled on. So we're going to take the base off of this, see if we can take it apart and build some form of, form of a better looking stool form. Uh, see how it looks and I'll try to keep track of the project. Yeah, should be a fun little project. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, start out, figure out, I've got a piece of 1x4, pre-painted, which I didn't really want, but I have it available, so we're going to use it. I'm going to figure out that we need a, uh, a seat that's going to look like it's going to be a little room to work with, so we'll probably make them about 14 inches long, and we're going to have to put all these together because I sure don't have anything else. So, and this seat right now is approximately 14, so I want 15 or maybe a little bit better width. So if we're using a three and a half inch board, uh, five of them would be enough to do that. So five and then 14 inches long, we're looking, I don't know, 70 inches long. So I've got a piece of wood here I think is more than that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, joint the edges to make sure we get it good and square and get the paint off of it. And we'll glue it up and go from there. Okay, I went ahead and cleaned the edges up, got the paint off of them. So we're going to go ahead and set this over on the saw. And uh, we'll set this one up. And of course we got to uh, set it up and get our dust collection set up. I think I left my other dust collector open also, so let me, yes, we'll shut that off. And uh, my joiner, we're going to have a video on that real soon because those, that joiner head is uh, not doing me good. Those, those blades are very dull. So we'll work on that next. Okay, so we decided we wanted this to be approximately 14 inches each one. So I've got a the actual tape makes this a lot easier too from the blade. We'll come out here 14 inches and we'll just cut them off at 14 inches. Right. We've got five boards so Uh, make sure, just double check, make sure we got enough of them, and we are 16 inches wide, and we only need 16, should give us enough to draw a pattern, so we'll go with that, we're just going to go ahead and glue those up, and get it set. Okay, they're set up in my clamps, we'll go ahead and add some glue to each of the uh, edges, and uh, Clamp them down. Okay, the next step we're going to do, we've got the chair here. I think the only thing we're going to need is the uh, screw gun and something to see if we can knock it apart. So we've got that set up. So what we're going to do is just tip the chair over. And uh, this one here, let's see, we've got a couple screws on the bottom of it. We're going to take that screw out, that screw, and these two screws here. And that'll take that apart, and then we're going to knock the legs out. So we'll set this over here, and, and we'll go ahead and and do that much on it and see how it comes apart. That was 
side. And now I'm going to try to knock these out of here. Set it off to the edge here so I can get a knock on it. It's probably going to bust this. So I did pretty good. And We've removed the seat, so we'll use this as a pattern once our glue up is done to give us about the size and uh, hole locations when we go to put it back together. So, we'll, the next step is we've got our glue up together. We've got this is all parts and pieces. So we're going to uh, see how this is doing. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we can get the clamps off of this. It's been sitting for a couple hours, so we're good there. Uh, should be plenty big enough to put the top on, and let's see how it's going to match up. Let's see here. So that's going to fit in there like, like that. I don't know if we're seeing it or not. Move back just a little bit. So I'm going to... Uh, Take that and sand this down a little bit, run it through our sander, get it looking pretty, and then I'll do the drawing on it and see if we can get a shape that we want. So, we're going to sand next. Okay, so we're all set up. We're going to run this through the drum sander a couple times and uh, level it out, get all the grooves out of it, and let's see if we can come up with, uh, with a nice looking piece of wood. Alright, we've got her plain or sanded down and smoothed off, so it'll be a pretty good looking seat. So the next thing we're gonna have to do is we're actually gonna figure out how to fit this back on here. So we know we're gonna sit approximately like that. And then we're going to uh I think that's the right way. Let's see if I think almost like that. There's a little knot over in the one corner there. I'll set it more like this. And we're going to center it. And all we're going to do is sketch something that looks like a chair top to it. And see if that makes sense. And what we'll actually end up doing is, is when we measure around this, we'll cut this half here out to make it look right. And then we'll cut that off and actually swap it over onto the other side so we'll have a mirror image of it. So we only need to really sketch out half the chair. So uh, that's what we're going to start doing uh, now. Let's see if we can, can do something with it. Uh, let's see. If we're going to do this with the back of the chair, it doesn't need to have a whole lot. So we just want to kind of go center this in the middle and I'm going to come off of this a little bit and we're going to come around get a little indent and then we're going to come down and get this little indent maybe something like that across the back it's going to be straight and then across the front side, I think we want to bring this out just a little bit. And then we're going to kind of give it a little indent. Go around the leg and then it'll swing back around and come back into the other half. And I want to bring that up just a touch more. So when we get all done... We're about halfway, and I think that kind of gives it the look. I don't know how well you can see my pencil line there, but so what we'll do is we'll we'll mark where the leg is, and then we'll take it over to the bandsaw and just cut it out and uh, transfer it over to the other half. Let's see what she looks like. Okay, I did part of it with the uh, bandsaw, but I decided to jigsaw because of the angle of the cut. 
You need a little bit sharper than what my bandsaw blade was going to do. So now we've cut it out, and now all I'm going to do, like I say, we're going to mirror image this. So we'll simply take it and swap it over. And we'll set it back onto here, and we'll trace around that. And it should end up being exactly what the, the first one looked like. So that'll give us the layout of the chair. Okay, we've got it cut out, and it's kind of have the shape. Now we're going to take it to the uh, sanders, and we'll sand that all down to make it look uh, a little smoother before we route it off and round off the edges and this type of thing. So we'll do that next. All right, we've got all the edges rounded off, so now we're going to go ahead and set up our router. And on the router, we're going to have uh, just a regular old roundover bit. So we're going to set this up to where it uh, just rides on that bearing and takes a little bit of it off. So we're going to just take a spit off of it and let it round over. So we'll set that up, run it around at a time or two, see how it works. And uh, I'll have that smoothed off. Okay, so what we need to do now is we're going to clean up this little bit of stuff here. We'll run the sandpaper around that a little bit too, but pegs, these weren't glued too bad because there ain't a whole lot of stuff left on them. But then we'll have to drill the holes so that these fits. We'll get us a, uh, a bit and drill them out, but we'll set this approximately in the center where it needs to be, and we'll just simply mark our holes, make sure it's good and square. And uh, we'll drill our hole so it's ready, and then we'll be ready to sand and finish. Okay, so we were able to salvage this, so we have a pretty good idea what the holes are. So I've got me a foster bit, and it will go through that hole and fit perfectly. So I've got an angle, as we can see on this. On the last chair I had, actually did, we couldn't... I didn't have the holes there to line up with for the angle. So we pretty much just eyeballed it and made sure we were pretty close and uh, went ahead and drilled on through it. I can also do the same thing with this by lining it up right where my hole is. And that should give me the correct angle when I go to drill it. And uh, we should be good. Now I do want to uh, set a couple boards underneath here. Now let's use scraps. So we don't get blow out on the bottom of it because we are going to go all the way through. So put those under there so that it'll drill into another piece of wood. We should be good. So. take our chair and line them up pretty close looks like uh, we'll add some glue and uh, snug them down in there but I'm gonna go ahead and sand this with a finish sander first get a little bit better it's a lot easier to sand this before you uh, put all that together just to get a nice finish on it so we'll just take our, uh, our little sander and See if we can sand her down. If we did really good, we'll take this, swing it over, line the pegs up. I 
Okay, well, it just slides right together. Hang it over a little bit. Looks like a pretty good fit to me. We'll come back and make sure the bottom is trimmed out right. And uh, we'll let that dry for a little while. And then we'll put the base back on it. I want to let that dry a little bit before we go to the last phase. Okay, so we've uh, let it dry a little bit, and all we're doing is we set it upside down, set the thing about the center where it needs to be, and then it's just simply run the screws back in it, making sure that it's squared up. And not too much into the front. And there we go. I think it's a slight improvement over the original. Uh, like I say, I have to be able to paint it and sand it the rest of the way, and I think it'll look all right. So. That's how I do a chair. Maybe not uh, perfect, but I think it'll do fine. Uh, like and comment. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.